All right, so here we are, Resurrection Remix, uh, all synchronized. We have checked out all of our projects, and we are done. Uh, question is, how did we get here? So, uh, just a little bit of uh, backlog here. We um, set up our system just the same way we did for Lineage OS 17, uh, which you can see in my previous videos. But the most important thing that you need to do is, of course, go ahead and uh, go to the Android Open Source Project. And we've walked through these instructions before, so I don't want to, I don't want to belabor too much time on them. But just to take a look uh, at uh, <clears throat> at what you need to do to get set up here, in case this is your first time uh, getting set up. Uh, make sure you meet the requirements. You have a 64-bit machine with 400 gigabytes of space. They recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM or swap. And uh, then you're going to need to download some things. And those things that you need to do to download are under this Establish a Build environment. And like I said, we went over this uh, very thoroughly in AOSP and Lineage 17. So please check out those videos if you need some more help. But just in brief, we're following these instructions. We, uh, or we're working with Ubuntu 18.04 or Bionic Beaver. But do note that uh, 14.04 or Trusty Tar is still the uh, desired or uh, tested build machine. But we just triple click this and put it into our um, terminal here with our center click and we're going to download those uh, programs to our machine. In my case I already have them and it says it is the newest version. Uh, and then you need to install uh, Java Development Kit which uh, we cover very uh, extensively under our uh, Lineage 17. So do check those out. We, we go follow these instructions to set up our build environment <coughs> And then just like we see for Lineage OS, we go to the Resurrection Remix Platform Manifest. Now here's what's interesting. We look at this Platform Manifest and we're trying to build for 10. And I want to go back and look at an older version, let's say uh, let's say Pi here. And if we go to Pi, notice that it says Resurrection Remix and it has all of the information that you would need for doing Resurrection Remix. and it talks about how to set up your build environment and everything that you need to do, how to install OpenJDK 8, how to set up this um, system here. Now, notice all of that is well and good, but we're trying to build 10. So when we go to 10, we choose 10. <coughs> And we notice that the instructions actually say Lineage OS still. So, of course, Resurrection Remix is based on Lineage OS. And so they've just copied and pasted this from Lineage OS. And unfortunately, if you try to follow these instructions, you will download Lineage OS and not Resurrection Remix. So, essentially, you want to look at the Pi instructions. and where it says here to synchronize our repository right here what we need to choose instead of pi is actually 10 t-e-n 10, T -E -N, 10. Uh, and if we do that then we'll download for what we need to build so that's how we got where we where we are now if you need some more help with that please check out the videos for Lineage OS 17. <clears throat> Very clear instructions on how to set up your system and work with it. Uh, I want to start here today because I want to actually get into the meat of some other uh, tasks that we need to do. So we notice here we're building, uh, I've got a folder called RRQ and in there I have my uh, source code here and if we look under device we see uh, we have no Sony folder for my Sony Discovery that we're hoping to build for this. So for instance, if we just start to do our build, if we do build, and environment setup shell, and then we just run lunch, it's going to build our lunch combo and it's going to take it a few seconds to uh, get the list 
of what it thinks is available. First off, it's searching the device trees to see if there's uh, the vendor setups. That happens during this build environment setup.shell. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, and then it's also uh, possible for them to look online. You see some activity as it checks what's available from the source. And then also it can be based on in the vendor folder, uh, in particular for RR. Sometimes they'll have a um, uh, config in here or something that'll tell it a list. It kind of depends on each uh, device that you uh, that or each ROM that you could be building for uh, may have some some information in there. Actually, we'll check out under build here. Environment setup dot shell. Just while we wait there, it seems to be taking a sweet time. Um. Yeah, and it just goes through and it says, okay, what what devices are available, and looks for those. So, uh, what I wanted to point out how they haven't got it set up properly yet. Uh, oh well, here's our list. Um, what I wanted to point out was since they didn't even have the uh, platform manifest set up properly for their build instructions, that tells you that this is really new and they're not ready for production yet. So it is something to keep in mind. You know, when you build these custom ROMs, it's great to go out and build the latest and greatest thing. But sometimes these custom ROMs just aren't ready yet. And I don't know for sure that's the case with Resurrection Remix. We're going to find out here uh, in a minute. But uh, So just something to keep in mind. Just because they have a repository for Android 10 doesn't mean that they're actually ready to build it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to control C and uh, and say, no, we don't want to build any of those uh, particular ones. Now what we could do <coughs> is uh, say lunch and then say rr underscore discovery dash eng and see if that can find anything. So it says, hey, I can't find a make file for that, but I'm going to go look and it says, hey, I see that there is uh, in Lineage OS, Android device Sony Discovery, and there's branch, uh, it uses the default branch, which should be 17, right? And uh, it is Lineage 17.0. And it says, hey, I can download that, and uh, we can try to build that. So that's one way to do it. Of course, we've looked at before we can use our local manifest. In this case, room service took took place for us. But we can see, okay, it went and got Lineage OS and the discovery from GitHub. But we could have, uh, you know, obviously copy and pasted these in here. So here's the problem, though. We're downloading this for Lineage OS to use in Resurrection Remix. So that's not going to work very well because when we try to build it, it's still going to say it can't find it. So let's take a look here under our device tree. We now see we have a Sony and we have this discovery. <coughs> now, when we try to build, we said we want to build RR underscore discovery dash inch. So it's going to go look through all these Android make, Android product, and um, device files and see if it can find that. But what it's going to find is all it can find is lineage underscore discovery. So it's not going to be able to build what we need to build. And then it says inherit some stuff from vendor lineage. Well, we don't have a vendor lineage, do we? Maybe we do because it's copied from lineage. But in this case, we don't. It's from RR. So uh, all of these things are messed up. So how do we fix that to make that proper? So it's still receiving some objects here. I believe it's probably for the... Um, yeah, uh, Mac address uh, set up remote, and then also probably downloading the kernel as well. So, <clears throat> so we can go ahead and work on uh, this files while we wait. So what we need is to make sure all of our files somehow point to building RR. So the first thing that we would have to do is change this lineage discovery to be rr discovery.make okay 
Uh, then the second thing is this lineage dependencies file. Uh, technically, we should change it to RR dependencies and uh, see that these exist in the RR folder. If they don't, that could be a problem. So another thing we can do is just delete it straight up. Uh, as long as we make sure that we go and get that dependency and put it where it needs to be. <clears throat> so we see uh, we have our Android make file and that's going to just call all files in this particular path in this folder. We see Android products and it says hey uh, go ahead and bring up lineage discovery.make but we just changed that to RR so let's change that RR discovery.make and then it says common lunch choices so we need to change our common lunch choices to match RR and not lineage so our common lunch choices are now going to be to build RR discovery dash user dash user debug and dash inch so we can save that then we look at our board config.make and we see it's going to call device Sony Nile common that's completely fine right we're looking for things that reference lineage and changing those to RR uh, discovery def config that's fine vendor Sony discovery board config vendor that's all fine right uh, we need our device make file right we look at that vendor Sony discovery discovery vendor dot make that's all fine now notice here we have our package overlays for overlay for lineage now this might be a part where we run into some problems as we do our build we need to change this of course to overlay RR we're gonna have to change the folder out here and we're gonna have to edit some things in there possibly so we'll save this for now <coughs> excuse me uh, overlay RR packages app snap right so it's saying it definitely wants to install snap instead of camera 2 uh, we look through here and you could even use the search function you know control find and say lineage and go through and change things that way but you do need to read through it to make sure that everything is makes sense so then our extract files shell we won't really need this at this point but you should definitely check these out to make sure they're proper proprietary files dot text this is what the extracting files uses that should not change at all uh, we already looked at our discovery but let's take another look at after we've renamed it so we need device sony discovery device dot make that's fine that's here vendor rr config common full phone so let's check to make sure that exists vendor rr config common full phone so vendor rr config and then we have a common full common full phone right here all right so that exists so that will be good right we need to change this lineage to be rr discovery save that and it looks like that's all we have to change here for that so everything here should be good to go Let's go back to our tree here. Set up make files. Discovery common, Sony, all that should be fine. Vendor prop. All of these should be good as well. So then we have this overlay lineage. We changed that to be overlay RR. And when we do that, now this file right here. Uh, it's probably a leftover stub, right? Um, we can probably just delete that. No, won't let you. Okay. Well, no problem. Normally you wouldn't see it because you wouldn't see the hidden file, right? Uh, for our git. But there it is. Oh well. Oh, now it's gone. So disappeared on its own. Uh, so overlay RR. Well, let's take a look at that, and we see packages apps snap res values config.xml <clears throat> so it's a uh, config for the snap camera that it wants to override um, one thing we would probably want to check is to make sure snap camera is actually being built in RR uh, so we could go to RRQ let's go to our um, packages 
and we have apps and we can look snap so snap is going to be built so that works out really well so uh, since we've kind of made that one ready let's go back to our overlay here back to our discovery so this is now set up and ready to roll but what we now need to look at is that calls the snile common so let's take a look at our now common to make sure that this one is ready to go so we look at the Android BP it's gonna do some boot control that's in, that's fine android.make and again we're looking for things that have to do with lineage so you could even say lineage to find it and there's only one reference to lineage anywhere in here and so that should be fine um, config common lineage there's no other reference to lineage so that should be good to go compatibility matrix now here we might run into some interesting things nope we did not run into any lineage in there sometimes you'll run into something like that in there and that depends since it's based on lineage to make RR that might be the same uh, config those are fine extract files dot shell uh, notice in here it says lineage root and so uh, in this case we would change lineage root to be our R root, our R root, vendor, our R, build tools, extract utils, dot shell. So we would need to make sure that exists. So we go back to our R, vendor, our R, build tools, extract utilities, dot shell. So that does in fact exist, so that's fine. So we just go through and change all of these. Now, these extract shells files, we don't need for doing the build. But this would be when we upload this to save our device tree later. We would want to make sure that this was properly set up for the next person that might build. Uh, lineage dependencies, you need to make sure you've got all these dependencies downloaded. We know we downloaded them already. They're in our room service branch. Uh, we would change this to RR dependencies if they existed on RR. If they don't, we would just delete it. Let's take a look at our manifest here. So in lineage, we have several uh, on our manifest that are from lineage. Now it could be that this is still completely okay if those things are still being built because this ROM is based on lineage. But if it's not, that will be a problem. So uh, we might take another look at this in a little bit. We'll leave that open for now. So notice we have an overlay lineage package. We'll change that to RR, RR. Uh, notice local path overlay RR lineage SDK. We'll do this RR SDK. Um, most of this should be good. Again, we're looking for keywords about lineage. Okay, so here we have this live display. We might have to do something with that, depending. And this trust how we might have to do something with that, depending. Uh, it's hard to say when you're basing it on a ROM that's based on the ROM that you're taking it from. So uh, don't know exactly what you need to change yet. So here we see in our setup make files shell, we see that we have our lineage root. We're going to change to our R root. And we'll save that. System properties. We don't see anything specific to lineage in here. And vendor prop right here. Um, possibilities that you could see something in here for lineage, but it does not appear to be so. Okay, great. So then we have our overlay lineage folder, which we're going to change to be overlay RR. 
All right, and we got to open this up in Lineage SDK. We're going to change to our R SDK. Now we got to look inside that. Notice it says Lineage, so like we would change that to be our R. But what you might run into is that the file inside references it by its path, and then you could run into issues with that. So lineage, there's three three instances of lineage in here. So uh, none of them are are other than the comments. So you know this might be something that's fine the way that it is. It might also be a problem as well. So we'll have to check on that. So now we've done the bulk of the work. Okay. Uh, one of the big things that we need to make sure we have now are the vendor files. So uh, once again we look under our vendor. Let's close out some of this. So our vendor files, we need the vendor files. Now again, we could add those to our repo manifest, to our local manifest. We can download them off of GitHub. In our case, we can actually just steal them because uh, we just built Lineage 17. Okay and we can just take it right here and actually just literally put it over over here in our RR so we just drug it over here and, and there it is now notice though there may be other things you need like QCOM and different things like that uh, it really does depend on uh, what you're building so in this case I think we actually do need this so we're gonna copy that and paste that over oh it was already there I just need to pay attention It was on the other side of our R okay so so those are all together so we've got our vendor files we've got our device trees set up let's make sure we have the kernel downloaded and I do not see the Sony kernel in here okay. and that is because we're still downloading some of the other materials that we needed here so that's still going on so we'll give that a minute to finish and then we'll pick up this video once that is done okay so it finished downloading uh, everything including the kernel here we see kernel Sony SDM 660 and the uh, hardware files that we needed as well so notice now it says okay um, you know let's take a look can we build that RR discovery and we do have that RR discovery um, set up and ready to go and this is a good sign when you see this you know it's at least ready to start building that doesn't mean it's going to build successfully it means that it's got all the right files named all the right things for it to start the build so in this case we could uh, use brunch right as our uh, method instead of using lunch right b-r-u-n-c-h brunch and uh, that will go ahead and start the build for us or we could have just typed after that lunch we could have typed make um, and and done it that way and specified with a J number how many threads or whatever the case may be but so now it's going to start going through and building our uh, custom ROM for resurrection remix for the discovery based on a lineage OS tree that we converted to RR uh, now right off the bat you can see we have a problem and this problem is failed and it's about the camera parameters and we need to go fix that here specific camera parameters library undefined okay well that's a new one on me we'll have to check that out here um, so it's obvious that it needs a camera parameter defined somehow and we need to make sure that we do that for our build so let's check that out and see what we can do uh, I might make that into another video just to keep it 
kind of more concise as a problem of its own. But this is how we set up our device tree from one device to another. And uh, so hopefully that was helpful. If you're looking to do something similar, that's what you would need to start with.